The mark of healthy ongoing relationships is regular communication. The stronger and more intimate the relationship, the more frequent our communication will be. In our passage today, Peter reminds his congregation that their relationship with God is ongoing. God gives us new birth into a living hope. We are recreated and given new life into an ever unfolding and growing hope through Jesus Christ. It's not just a past event or a future goal. It's a present reality that reaches backward and forward in our life and in the life of the church. Since this relationship is ongoing, and since it bestows on us an unfathomable gift, shouldn't it be that we devote considerable time to communicating with the person in the relationship? Shouldn't we be engaged in increasingly frequent communication with the one who gives us life and hope? Our means of communicating with God is prayer. There are a myriad of ways of praying And what ultimately matters is that you pray, not that you use a specific prayer form or type of prayer. Talk to God. Listen for God's voice. Make space and time in your life to pray today, tomorrow, and every day.